In this video, I'm going to be breaking down how Canes ran the absolute best bunch tight end that we've seen so far in the Madden community. What's up, guys? My name's Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, my channel focuses in on how to help you get better at Madden 21. And one of the ways that we do this is through studying pro players and trying to relay some of their insights and things that they're doing at a very high level and kind of share that with you as well. And one of the players that I wanted to spotlight is some of our club champions, but not only just our club champions, I did want to spotlight some of our runner-ups who actually I felt like played really, really well and had some things we can all learn from. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, be sure to subscribe. All you got to do is go to the bottom right-hand corner of your, subscribe, uh, of your screen and hit the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe. And research has shown me that only 40% of the people that are watching this video right now, 40% of you guys have actually subscribed to my channel in the first place. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I would really, really appreciate it. I think it would help you get better at the game and it's completely free. And if you don't enjoy the content, you can always unsubscribe at a later time. So that being said, we're gonna about to jump into Keynes's bunch tight end and we're gonna jump specifically into what I believe to be the best play in the entire game specifically from this gun bunch tight end and we're going to show you a couple of different things um, of how you can really develop this and make this into a full scheme even though gun bunch tight end is a few plays it's a few very very powerful plays and i think you're going to learn a lot in this video so let's jump right in all right, guys, so first off, I want to go ahead and show you the coaching adjustments on the defensive side of the ball. You'll notice that our curl flats are set to 25. That's kind of a standard adjustment. And then our hooks and stuff are on default. We got everything else on default pretty much. Auto flip is on. We're going to be working out of the nickel 335 defense um, and starting down in cover two man and kind of audibling around from there. Now, the bunch tight end is in multiple playbooks. We're actually going to be showing it to you today from the Seattle uh, Seahawks playbook, but you can get it out of multiple different formations and or multiple different playbooks. It's also in the Raiders playbook, and I believe it's in uh, a few other ones as well. But there's two in particular plays we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about the PA boot over. We're going to be talking about the halfback off tackle, and then if we have a if we still have some time, we'll talk a little bit about inside switch. But first and foremost, I want to talk about the uh, bunch tight end now in my opinion the best and most strategic way to run this offense is to make sure that you have your bunch receivers um, to your left side of the field it really doesn't matter if they're on the left hash or the right hash in my opinion um, what matters is that if you you can roll out to the side of your quarterback so if your quarterback is left-handed if you're running Michael Vick and Mutt you would want to be on the right hash to run this if you, or you would run a flip this formation but if they're right-handed you don't want to be on the right side and literally the only adjustment we're going to make to this play is we're going to start out with just simply putting Gronkowski on delay fade and Godwin is going to be on a smart routed um, smart routed route. So we're just going to smart route him so that he goes 10 yards and then makes a nice cut to the middle of the field. And that's pretty much it. And literally what we're going to do is we're going to make a quick read here. And if nothing's open, we're just going to roll out. And as soon as we see that Gronkowski's man is chasing us, that's where we're going to basically um, that's where we're going to basically throw him the ball and you'll notice that it really doesn't matter what the defense does if they try to man this tight end up as soon as Gronkowski's man chases me when I roll out with my quarterback I'm able to get the ball out and I'm able to make an easy read and that is what makes this thing such a beast of a play to stop because zone doesn't really stop it man doesn't really stop it either either and the pa the play action by having that play action on it gives you really really good blocking against different types of user rushes and things like that and just makes it really really hard to stop and, and canes ran this about 80 percent of his play calls was this specific play right here about 15 percent of his play calls were the um uh, the off tackle and i think about five percent were anything else so those were really the two big ones and as far as you know what if they you know what if they do this or that against it you're going to see that every route on the field even though it doesn't look like it does 
every single route on the field is going to be very effective against man-to-man -man coverage. Make sure that you smart route it, but as long as you smart route it, what you're going to notice is this route to Antonio Brown is going to, or uh, to Mike Evans, I'm sorry, is going to do a really, really good job against man-to-man -man coverage. You also, um, make no mistake about it, you're going to have a really, really good opportunity to hit Antonio Brown when he cuts on his deep cross. Here. It is a nice deep crossing route. One of the things you have to be careful of whenever you're running this scheme is you do have to be careful, in my opinion, of running, you know, backing up a little bit too far because this is a, a, a play that is really meant to have time to develop. So you want to make sure you have time in the pocket. Uh, right there, Kadir Holman made one of the best plays of his entire career. Typically, that route will be wide open. What I would recommend if you were running this in mutt was, would be to make sure that you have um, I would put route tech on every single receiver and the reason why I would do that is because if if they don't have that route running threshold you can get stuff like this and typically this doesn't happen uh, what Kadir Holman's doing um, he's typically not going to be able to make that play especially if people are running shaded coverage up man to man coverage because shaded coverage up man to man coverage you'll see here the crossing route absolutely torches it right over the middle of the field and one of these days we'll be able to complete this. But really quickly before we do, I want to highlight my text message membership. If you don't know what that is, basically what it is, is I give away free schemes every single week in my text message membership club. It's completely free to sign up. Literally all you have to do is simply text me. My number is in the top left hand corner of your screen right now. It's also in the description of every video that I do. So make sure to text me completely free. It takes you about five seconds and it's going to get you an unlock for you 11 full schemes. Two of them are on defense and nine of them are on offense with more on the way for the defensive side of the ball. Um, so I would just highly encourage you to pick that up. But as you can see here, every single route beats man. Now, most of the time their user is going to be in the middle of the field trying to make sure that you don't do you know certain things for example um, if they don't have a safety in the middle of the field this smart route of post route should be a one play touchdown right over the top or at least close to that um, the one issue is the one issue you can run into with this is if you have receivers that are slow if you have receivers that are slow if you if you don't have good route running that's the one thing that like I said that's where this thing can have issues but most people at this point in Mutt have receivers that have really, really good route running. As you can see right there, you know, because the Bucks don't have route running, that is the primary issue. Um, but if I were to have, you know, anyone else there that has, like if, if that was Devontae Adams and Rags, or, you know, I can list off several people for Mutt that you're going to have that most people have and are affordable. But as you can see right there, if it's open, throw it. If it's not there, go to something else. But um, just know that you have that. Now, as far as zone coverage goes, I do want to cover that. So first and foremost, let's cover cover three. And what you're going to notice is against cover three, what you're going to basically force them to have to do um, is you've got a nice high-low read. And basically, if they don't have hard flats on that right side, you're going to be able to simply hit that drag route whenever he comes across. But let's say that they do that. Let's say that they have hard flats. Then your next natural progression is you're going to look down. Oh, he's covered. But oh, wait, look, the crossing route has now come wide open over the top of the defense. What this is going to force your opponent to do is your opponent is going to have to, I mean, literally have to run a double flat type of coverage. He's going to have to run a hard flat, and he's also going to have to run a curl flat zone uh, or a purple zone. And as you'll see right here, with those two combinations, now he does do a little bit better of a job against both of those routes. He's able to stop them. But one of the things I want to point out on this play, and this is where I think it makes it super, super effective, what you'll notice with this is when you run this, you'll notice that right at this point, if he's double flatting, you can hit that route to, um, you can hit that crossing route. You just have to hit it a little bit sooner than you might think. Now, the other thing that you're going to notice is, let's say that they're playing cover three, right? And it looks just like this right here. What you'll notice is you'll see that this post route has a shot 
at getting over the top of the cover three. It doesn't always get over the top of the cover three. And yes, you need a little bit of time in the pocket for this thing to work, okay? But if you get the right type of cover three at the right time, you're gonna see that this thing can have a shot at getting over because of how long it takes that guy to go back. And as you see right there, you actually notice these are 25 yard curl flats. I want you to make no mistake. These are 25 yard curl flats that I'm running. And the beauty of this play is 25 yards is not nearly enough, especially if you're running this crossing route to the wide side field, giving him room to work. So he's going to come over right here. And at that point right there, it's just simply passing it up and you're clicking on and making a play. And as you can see, that crossing route gets over the top of that zone. So the next thing that you're going to look at in this play is they might do something like a cover three invert where they're basically deep halfing both of their outside corners and they're playing that Mabel coverage underneath to try to really limit some of the things that you can do. I just want to show you this really quickly just so you can see. Once again, if they deep half, pass lead up, and as you can see, that crossing route gets over the top. The last defense I want to cover is cover two. And what you'll notice with this cover two, same exact scenario, same exact concept, but as you can see, it's literally the same thing. This crossing route kills it because it's such a deep, deep read. So a lot of times what they're going to have to do as a user is they're going to have to go user the crossing route. And then what that's going to create is that's going to create open space now for you to be able to throw this delay fade. So against a lot of zones, again, everything breaks down, I roll out, and then I have that read right there. And that's a very consistent yard gainer for people. The last thing I want to show you on this uh, on this scheme here is simply the halfback off tackle. And as you can see right here, um, it doesn't look like much of a run when you just run it. But against the right defense, in particularly heavy blitzing style defenses, when you use this motion right here, you're actually going to get a nice little cut or little edge seal block right there from your left tackle. And it's going to be very effective. One of my favorite tips with this is to motion him to the left. Well, you'll see when you motion him to the left, you'll actually get a little bit better blocking. Motion him left, motion him right, move him around, move that slot player around. And if you move him around, you'll be amazed at how consistent this run will be for you. And then I know I said that was the last thing. I got one more thing for you before we take off. And that is um, off of that motion using this play right here, inside switch. And essentially all we're going to simply do here is we're going to put Brown on a flat. We're going to put Evans on a slant, smart route Gronkowski, and then motion him this way. And this play right here is super effective against man-to-man. -man. If they're running a lot of man-to-man, -man, this is a play that I like to go to inside switch. And I'm just going to simply smart route the corner route. Again, I won't get into it a ton today, but that corner route will beat man-to-man -man as long as you have that 90 deep route running, but you also have your nice little slot post route in combination with your slant route. So this makes this a really, really good formation. So in my opinion, Canes came to the party with a very dominant offense and unfortunately just I felt like kind of lost himself that game um, and I felt like some bad game management on his part, but... I also felt like his offense was elite. His defense was elite. It just came down to game management. So that's kind of what you can learn from Canes and his gun bunch tight end. Now, I want to remind you, if you're still watching the video, number one, to go ahead and subscribe. But number two, if you want to get my full schemes, I actually have a full offensive ebook out of the New England Patriots that does use some of these same principles, not this exact scheme, but very similar from the trips tight end and the U trips to be able to really, really lock down or really, really make some great strides on your offensive side of the ball. But if you want to get a free sample of that ebook, literally all you got to do is text me. Again, anything you need, always text me. If you have a question, if you if you want to get some free schemes, if you want to get um, you know really anything, just hit me up via text message. If you want to get my full New England ebook, that link is in the description. Uh, of this video and if you want to get my full nickel 335 wide defense that link is also in the description thanks for watching today's video i hope it was helpful and we'll see you tonight on our live stream at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time